Hey guys, I'm Blanco, and today I will be giving you a presentation over Theodore Vell. Theodore Vell was born July 16th of 1845, where he lived till April 16th of 1920. As Vell grew up, he went on to college in Morristown, New Jersey. Before studying telegraphy, he would study the art of medicine. After graduating college, he would marry his wife, Emma Ryder, and they would have one son by the name of Davis Ryder Vell. They then moved to New York, where he would become the manager of a telegraphy office that provided for the local people of New York City. After Vell spent a few years at the local telegraphy office, he then found his way to Western Union, where he would become the superintendent. This, however, would not stick. For he had to go on other job searches due to losing his job as a superintendent of the Western Union. After losing his job, he would go on to work in the mail system for several years. After working in the mail system for several years, he would start his debut into the telecommunication world, where he first worked at the office of American Bell. Theodore Bell knew that this would bring him into the communications world, where it would eventually evolutionize. The Bell system encountered many tough times while facing the competition of many other growing companies. Bell was responsible for the transformation of the Bell system into successful AT&T business. He would eventually become the first ever president of the company. As I was researching public relations related to Bell, I was pretty amazed to find out how much he actually did for it. If it wasn't for Bell, today people may not know about public relations. He pioneered the art of advertising, starting with slogans, then ventured onto press, and then books and picture. Bell overcame the obstacles of advertising, which was crucial for the success of his company and other firms. He had a very influential hand in the evolution of how businesses are strategically ran. Vell set about trying to achieve monopoly for AT&T over the American telecommunications industry. Thinking about Vell and the amount of effort and determination it took to complete this one task would be very hard in today's world. The advertising principles that Vell established back then make up an enormous amount of how businesses go about successful advertising strategies today. Vell has a large hand in the operation of firms in today's society would be very different if it wasn't for the innovation of Vell.